welcome. This is part two of the Elimination Chamber. We talked about Cody Rhodes and the fact that he literally could be at the Elimination Chamber. I don't see that happening, but he will be soon, hopefully, in WWE. And if you want to you want to rewatch or you want to say, I missed part one, go back and watch it. We talk about a lot of the Cody Rhodes stuff, but we're going to move on to the what this is. is it's an Elimination Chamber uh, match prediction. Starting with the first match, Ethan, you got Rey Mysterio versus The Miz. I did not know about this until just now. We haven't been watching regular WWE. I kind of follow it or, or read about it or whatever. Um, I don't even sure the whole storyline of this. To me, I think it's two bigger name guys, Miz, Rey Mysterio. They want to get them on the card, put them together for for this Saudi Arabia show. What do you think? You go first. Rey or Miz? Mm, I don't know. Uh... I, I like has, like Dad was saying, we haven't really been following storylines or following. I haven't watched Raw or SmackDown mm-hmm. uh, and, uh, for a long time. Uh, you know, more than like five minutes or two sure. minutes. But um, I don't know. I'll probably say Rey Mysterio wins this. Um, it's kind of I don't know. Uh, maybe the Miz would win. But I feel like, yeah, these guys are two bigger names. But really, I feel like, even though I haven't been following, I feel like they haven't really had, like, a big, like, yeah. spotlight over the past while. I mean, Miz came back and, and did a little feud with Edge. Edge yeah. And, yeah. You know, and their, and their wives. I'm going to go Miz here. And my speculation is, from what I hear, what I've kind of just seen, I think Dominic, who I don't like, is going to turn heel. <sighs> And I think it could happen now. I, I could see Ray versus Dominic at WrestleMania. Now, they, they they fought last year in a tag team match, so father and son together. They kind of checked that off their list. <laughs> Dominic needs to turn heel in a cool, really cool father son match at WrestleMania, even though I'm not a big Dominic fan because I think no. he was kind of pushed too soon. He should have. He Ray's been, awesome. He should have went to NXT. He yeah. should have been there. He, he needed, yeah. I mean, he's not, he's not his dad, but hey, uh, you know. He's better than me. Let's just say that. So yeah. uh, I think Miz wins because I think it's going to set up for Ray and Dominic. And I might be completely wrong on that, but this is what I'm hoping for. Uh, we're going to move on to this. Is we don't always do the girls' matches. There's several girls' matches, which is interesting because a couple years ago there was there was any uh, in Saudi Arabia. Ronda Rousey and Naomi teaming up to take on Charlotte and Sonya. And from what I hear, um, R- Ronda's arm is going to be tied behind her back. I don't know if she's saying I can beat you with my arm time back in my back. It's absolutely all setting up for Ronda so and Charlotte. Who's Ronda and Naomi versus Charlotte and so- Sonya Deville. Uh, we can make our predictions. Ronda, she's got to go over here because she's going to she's going to win the title at WrestleMania. I'm Drew. Drew McIntyre taking on Ethan's favorite Madcap yeah. Moss. Ah, no. Can Baron Corbin get worse? Yeah, puts another uh, bad wrestler with him. Moss is probably better than Baron Corbin. But he's a stupid gimmick. Madcap Moss. But it is a false crown anywhere match. Why is why is Madcap Moss fighting Drew McIntyre, who's a, a bigger name, versus like just a nobody <laughs> in a false crown anywhere match in Saudi Arabia? It's supposed to be a big show with big yeah. matches. The only the, something that would be worse than this would be uh, Madcap Moss versus versus Mansoor. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. no offense, but yeah, uh, Madcap Moss and Baron Corbin are the bottom of the WWE barrel. The only bright spot of this is that it is a false count anywhere, so maybe like they'll throw Mad Cat Moss like off of the uh, the old Titan Tron or one of the screens, and him and Baron Corbin will get injured, and, and I mean not I mean storyline injured, and be yeah. off television forever. Uh, <laughs> Drew's gonna win this. Do you agree with yeah. me? Oh yeah. Usos, they're the tag champs, uh, taking on the Viking Raiders. Um, I'll go with this one first. I wish uh, the Viking Raiders. Uh, were considered more of a threat ever since they went bowling with uh, the Street Profits a couple years ago and did that stupid gimmick where they did all that stuff. I love Street Profits. I like the Viking Raiders. I wish they were still the War Raiders, but I, I lost all Lisa credibility. Had the Viking experience. Yes, Lisa had the Viking experience. But yeah, why did they do all that? Bowling and golf and dumb, whatever. But I said six months ago that Roman and the Usos are not dropping the titles. Bloodline. Before WrestleMania, and I, I am going to stick with that. Usos win this. I don't know who they fight at WrestleMania, but they, but they, I haven't thought about that. But they're going to be the Viking Raiders, right? What do you think? I agree with you. Becky and Lita, another women's match is for the Raw title. It's cool that, you know, Lita come back to Royal Rumble. She's a veteran, rookie, or, or a veteran, <laughs> veteran, Hall of Famer. 
But Becky's not losing. No, no. No, she's going to go on to take on, and we're going to get to that in a minute. Well, actually, we're going to get to it right now. We've got the girls' elimination chamber match. Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, and I think they had a gauntlet match on last week, and Ripley didn't win, but she um, went like 40 minutes. It was a really good match from what I hear. Uh, Bianca Belair, who I think won that match. Dewdrop, Nikki, ASH, and Alexa Bliss. Um, I always should go back to just being a regular self and not Bray Wyatt's friend. Bray Wyatt's longer. Who wins this? Going to take on Becky. Well, it's just like you were saying, and you can maybe get to the moment. Bianca Belair. Yeah. Uh, she got squashed at SummerSlam after having a good uh, good reign as the champion, and I hope she wins it back. I like Belair. I hope she wins it back against uh, Becky at WrestleMania, but it's definitely set up for that match, I think, Becky. and So I think Bianca wins this. I would be shocked if it's anybody, especially if you drop. Uh, Roman Reigns taking on Goldberg for the Universal Belt. Goldberg is like 58, I don't know. Goldberg. The funny thing is we joke about him being old, but we don't joke about Stank being old, and we also don't joke about the rumors of Stone Cold Steve Austin coming back at WrestleMania. He's, He's 57. Old. Oh, the same age. But he hasn't been there for 20 years, so we'll allow Austin to wrestle a match or two. Sting and then Sting, and Sting is back. not in the world title picture. No. So and That's Sting has always been Goldberg, Goldberg. You know, Sting is better than Goldberg. Yeah. Stone Cold's better than Goldberg. You're right. Stone Cold hasn't been there for a while. Yeah. Sting, you know, he's been he's been on TV some fighting in a few matches since he debuted yeah. about a year or so ago. But the difference with Goldberg is, yeah, you're right. He's in world title matches, and that's like all he fights. Yeah. He just fight comes with just comes in, fights a world title match, and it's getting old. You've got it. It's it's like a, it's like John Cena coming coming every once in a while. When Goldberg come back after that long time off, and he did like the program with Brock and stuff, that was fine. We'll let that slide. It's cool. He's a legend. He's still tough as nails. But the fact that he comes back every few years, it's the same thing. You're next. It's, it's the same broken record. And either he loses or he beats him, and then he loses it to somebody else. Around. There is a bright spot. From what I understand, this is his last match obligated under his current contract. That's good. So we might not have to see him much longer. Roman Reigns wins. For sure. Like, But what would happen if he did win? Because think about it. Think about last year, the same month. Yeah. No, maybe not last year. Two years ago. Two years ago. 2020. The same month. Yeah. Goldberg versus Bray Wyatt. No one thought Goldberg was going to beat Bray Wyatt. Oh, you're right. right. But... Goldberg did. He beat Bray Wyatt. Roman Reigns got 500 and some day champion. He's not losing to Goldberg. No. I don't think so. And, and think about how this match was going to be set up mm -hmm. two years ago at WrestleMania in the Performance Center. Yeah. Remember they even stared face to face. Yeah. Back when they had like seats there and there's yeah. nobody sitting in them. And then you could hear them like breathing it's, and yeah. thing and it's, it's just so, so horrible. You hear crickets chirping. They didn't know what back. to do. It, it's all happened so quick. Yeah. And um, then Roman Reigns had to step out of the picture. Yeah. And Roman Reigns is going to win anyway. Goldberg wasn't going to hold on to it any longer. No. no. Roman Reigns wins tonight. You're right. Then we got uh, we gotta go on to the WWE Championship match, which is going to be inside the Elimination Chamber. Champion Bobby Lashley mm -hmm. versus Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins versus Riddle, AJ Styles, and Austin Theory. The winner is going to be the champion. Does Bobby retain, or is it one of these other guys? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll tell you what I want. I would love for Seth to win it. Mm -hmm. Of course, we talked about him earlier taking out Dust or I don't say Dustin <laughs> Cody. So I don't think it's going to happen. I'd love AJ to win. He's my favorite out of this whole group. Mm -hmm. Riddle's probably not there yet. Austin Theory. I don't really care for him, but he's not the worst. He's young. He's not winning. I think it's going to be Brock. Everything I've read says Brock versus Roman champ, title versus title, which I don't like. I don't want to unify the titles. Keep two belts. Yeah. It allows more people to be champion. Keeping this show separate. I hope Lashley wins. I, Lashley's actually growing on me. He, to me, I mean, he's a great, he's an awesome athlete, and I've never disliked him. But I just, he's getting better. I, mean, I just, he's growing on me as a champion. I hope he wins. I would love for maybe Bobby Lashley versus Big E, which I don't think is going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, him or Seth winning the belt, or AJ, of course, but I don't think AJ's going to win. Uh, I just don't want Brock to win. I, I really don't want Brock to win this. He's going to yeah. fight Roman anyway, and he's going to beat Roman, probably. Yeah. Probably, maybe. Yeah. Um, they, they, don't, they don't do both belts. Here's what I'd like to say about Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is not a bad wrestler. He 
you know, he had a, when he was younger, he had a big, you know, when he came in, he, he yeah. won the world title pretty quick, right? Yeah. How, how, it wasn't that. Youngest champion ever. He beat yeah. Rock. Uh, rock. Not Rock. We, rock yeah, beat rock. he beat The Rock. And then he, he won the Royal Rumble, beat Kurt Angle at WrestleMania, where he hurt, or he almost broke his neck. <sighs> wow. Then he left. Then he left. He did all kinds of stuff, good stuff outside, yeah. UFC, championships. Eh, not so good with football. Not good with football. But he tried. He tried. And then he come back. And he, you know, broke the streak, and he fought Cena. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they at least have changed his character up. He yeah. talks more. He's actually pretty good on the mic. I, I didn't, that's why they always had Paul Heyman with him. Uh, so I like that. He wearing the overalls or whatever, the curly, you know, long hair or whatever. I at least, at least like the, at least in, it's not the same exact thing. That's good. Yeah. So I'm not, yeah. But what I do dislike about it was after a while... After Brock Lesnar, even though he, because he, it's kind of like Goldberg, he wasn't there that much. You yeah. know, he's probably there more. He's there more than Goldberg. Yeah, he, he just kind of sure. show up. You're ready to challenge somebody for a title, beat him. Remember, he 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 just like walked into uh, SmackDown uh, and challenged Kofi in, on the first episode of SmackDown, beat him in like four seconds. Yeah, it's just like dumb. This could that could have been a good match. Could have been just like five seconds, and. Then he just he, he he holds the belt. What happens is he wins the belt, then he holds it to WrestleMania, then he loses it. And I just I kind of started to get tired of it. And then he was gone for a while, and then he came back, and he's still a good he's still a good wrestler. Um, but now that he's come back, and then he he fought Roman Reigns, then he lost, and then he came back and he fought for the world title and won it from Big E. Then he then he lost it to. Bobby Lashley, then he won the Royal Rumble. Now he's in, he's going to WrestleMania already, but he's in the Elimination Chamber match, and you're right, he's probably going to win. It's, I'm, starting to get I'm so ready for who's next. Yeah. Not Goldberg's who's next. No. Just who's next. Uh, I like Brock. I tell you what, the, the, the shining star of WWE over the last couple of years, what they've done right mm -hmm. is Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. Turning him heel should have been done a long time ago. And he's awesome. Then you he's think about, so much better as a yeah. heel. You think about other wrestlers who turn heel who aren't that good. Seth Rollins, Seth, not my favorite. Because it's a dumb Rollins. heel. It's this arrogant, yeah. the stupid. Uh, I mean, he was. He's done all. AJ Styles was not a good heel. He was not. No, I, I Omos, like this. Yeah, yeah, way better as a face. Way better as a face. I'm ready for Seth to be a face again. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I thought. You know, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It's the road to WrestleMania. Uh, we can ramble on and go on forever. Will Cody show up tonight? I know we did a whole show on Cody right before part one. I'm going to say Brock wins too. I'm going to agree. You're going to go Brock. Yeah. I'm going to go Brock too. I hope it's Bobby. I hope it's Seth. Um, mm -hmm. And now they got Seth his new middle name. It's so stupid. Why is that? Why? Why? Let it be a nickname. Why does it have to be his, like, his official name? It's so stupid. That's the stuff we hate. That, that kind of stuff. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't need to happen. And also like... Bearcat Lee. Thankfully, now he's in AEW. Yes, we love it. We love Keith Lee, and we're so glad he's in AEW. Um, enjoy Elimination Chamber on paper. It looks good, but it looks you know they're always deceiving when it comes to the pay per views or premier live premier live events. Enjoy, it. enjoy it. Saudi Arabia tonight, today noon. Elimination Chamber. Who's gonna walk out champion? Will Cody show up? I doubt it tonight. All right, enjoy the match.